Welcome back to the show. It is so, so nice to see our next guest joining us. He's just such a talented guy, and we haven't seen him in a while, and uh, he's got a new book to talk about, and maybe we'll even talk about movies. I don't know. We're going to ask one question and see where it goes. We'll see what happens. <laughs> An Urban Rush reunion, because you will remember Paul Myers, of course, yeah. is one of our movie Hello. guys, and he is Hello. the author, well, of a couple of books, but we'll chat about A Wizard, A True Star, Todd Rundgren in the studio. Paul Myers, how Paul, are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, good to see you. Right. Wait, I'll take some of that. How are things? Uh, it's really good. I, I'm really enjoying my life in San Francisco. Of course, I miss the minute I got back to Vancouver, and I think we were, we were coming in on Granville from the airport, yeah. and you see the Lionsgate just peeking opens. over the, yeah, <laughs> the, the little lights of the Lionsgate peeking over the city. And, <laughs> and I oh, watched you guys on the Olympics. I watched uh, from, from San Francisco, yeah. you know, and the torch is right here. And it was like, it was so neat. I'm so proud of Van Vancouver. Yeah. And I always, and I'm not just saying this because I'm here, but I always <laughs> tell people that I lived in Vancouver for five years, and they always go, that must have been so amazing. And I go, it really was. Yeah, yeah. It was like a dream. It was like five years of perfect, like, everything. So what have you been doing since you left? I've been doing a lot of writing. A lot. Uh, a lot of writing for, like, some trade stuff. And so I, so I, I guess since I last, I, this Todd Rundgren book came out a few months ago, maybe a year ago, actually. And I couldn't get, I couldn't get to Vancouver for it. But uh, uh, I did, like, an L.A. event for that. And I did a San Francisco and a London event. I went to London, oh, England, wow. too. Oh, wow. And it's going into its second it's, printing. It's now in its second printing. Uh, I have to say... I'm so proud of the fact that musicians and people who care about like the way records are made and stuff like that. You know, it's not t super technical book, but it's kind of gets you in the studio. Like you know, yeah. those books about movie making and stuff. It's that kind of book where all the musicians. Can I just pitch yeah. it a little bit to you? Todd Rundgren talks about all the records he produced, and I'll tell you in a minute who those are uh, because uh, I also talk to the list. artists who he produced. So <laughs> they all talk together about the about the thing. So. You've got XTC from England, who did Skylark and with Todd. You've got uh, the New York Dolls' first album. Wow. <laughs> You've got a Bat Out of Hell, yeah, Meatloaf, Meat Loaf, yeah, uh, which absolutely. is like the biggest, one of the biggest selling albums of all time. Yeah. Todd talks about all the records he made for himself. And Patti Smith from the Patti, you know. Unbelievable. Because you know. he's pedigree. just, I mean, as a musician, uh, the guy's so talented. I mean, when you just look at yeah. the list of things that he can play himself. Just in 20 years, he did so many things. Yeah. I, I, what a trip. For anybody, but especially someone who loves music the way you do, to be able to get inside that oh. world a little bit and talk to people about it—I mean, it's got to be—it's got to be the pig yeah. in the mud situation, right? Like, just it's, <laughs> it's life changing what happened here because I had written, uh, as you know, like uh, the Bare Naked Ladies asked me. They started my yeah. career because they asked me. They're friends of mine. The Bare Naked Ladies asked me to write their uh, sort of autobiography that I wrote. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and it was my name was on it, but they. It was a great book. We thank you, it. and that's where I first met you guys. Yeah. I came on here to talk about yeah. that like ten years ago. And then Long John Baldry. <laughs> then Long John him. Baldry, which was also a trip because he w had passed away in Vancouver, so it was a Vancouver story, and I got to talk to all those great musicians like Elton John and stuff. So I got used to getting really good interviews with really good people. But then I created this Todd book because I'd been a Todd fan, and I looked at all those people, and then I made a list, a big wall list of all the people that I would have to talk to, and I got like ninety-seven percent of them. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and did Todd? You know? Ever read the book? Did Todd talk loves to the book. It? But and he, really? uh, yeah, you know, and he signs it for fans. And they've invited me to these uh, Todd festivals, like you know, all fan fan groups. Todd have. Fest. Yeah, and I went to Woodstock, <laughs> New York, where a lot. There's the book there. I went to Woodstock, New York, where a lot of the book <laughs> happened. Yeah. And there was a festival there, and I was a, a keynote speaker, and I spoke about you know Todd, Todd Rundgrenology, and, uh, <laughs> and 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 I've met all these other fans, and people are like subscribing to my blog now uh, because they they like you know what I did for their hero and. But that's you know. a beautiful thing, right? Because. Uh, you know, fans are very, especially someone as iconic as, as Todd Rundgren yeah. is, people become really protective mm -hmm. of, of their music and their yeah. legacy and their idea of them. And, and to be able to give Good people point. some insight into where that is and, and deepen their knowledge of someone that they already admire so much. Yeah, it was really, I think because I'm a musician and a producer myself, you I get think it. I had the language. In, I've, I've had that happen a few times where I'm interviewing somebody and I'll say, now, did you do a lot of overdubs and punch-ins on this? And then you see them go, oh, you know yeah. what that is? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah because <laughs> I don't. Yeah, like, so, <laughs> like, so, well, Grand Funk Railroad, like, that, when I first started, because he produced, Todd produced We're an American Band, which is like a staple yeah. of rock radio, right? It's in my head as soon as well, you say the title. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and I, I'm talking to the guy, Mark Farner, who wrote it and co-wrote it. And, and and I, was, you know, he's giving me his usual rap because he's probably done this a million times. Right. Like, oh yeah, we did this. It was great working with Todd. It was a real trip. And, yeah. and like everyone says nice things at first, and yeah. then you go, but were there any troubles? And he goes, no, there's no troubles. And I said, well, how about this story I heard about this? And all of a sudden he goes, well, yeah, I mean, there was some confusion about this. <laughs> and, and it happened all the time because I kind of went in because this is my area. Yeah. This is I'm well, and as you collect about, the you know? stories yeah. through all those interviews as well. I mean, every time and you go to talk to the next person after you've yeah. talked to, it was you know, the first ninety-five. Fun. I mean, you would just you would know and everything. 
me. talk about your blog for a sec because you wrote a uh, wonderful uh, tribute to Moogie, who just passed yeah, away. Yeah, Moogie Klingman is this keyboard player who played in Todd's band from way back in like 71. He, he actually had something to do with the Something Anything album, which had Hello, It's Me, yeah. mm -hmm. and I Saw the Light. Moogie Klingman uh, had cancer, and it was he was convalescing for, well, he was treating it for a year, and, it, and he failed, and it, 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 it died, and it was terrible. But Todd did a really cool thing for Moogie. He reunited the original Utopia lineup from 1974 with Moogie because he was well enough to play keyboards and he actually got strong when he was on stage. Yeah, you know? And they kept him alive, I think, for six months longer and he got to play the music that he loved with Todd and reunite with him and they had this really good time and then he just couldn't make it to the last three or four dates yeah. and he passed away a week ago. A what week a and gift a though, ago. right? I mean, for something that's such a central part of your life to be able to recapture that. Mm -hmm. and I think it taught Todd a lesson too. I think Todd felt like something, he got something out of like giving that to him and like they, they all learned about and each other. And mending fences And too. then I wrote about it in my blog, yeah. is what yeah. you're asking. I have this blog, the Pull My Ears music blog. It's Pull My Ears like uh, with one L. Because it's, an, it's an anagram of Paul Myers. So, ah, that's, so there's one out. Ears. Pull my ears. You know, I'm a music guy. And uh, I wrote about uh, Moogie Klingman, and all these Todd fans were linking from around the world and saying, oh, you got to read what Paul wrote. It's a, you know, because I really, I understood what it meant to all those people. And I also, it meant a lot to me by this mm -hmm. point because I've met the guy. And I, yeah. And uh, it was really kind of a neat feeling. Social networking has changed my life, by the way. I yeah, just, no well, kidding. Well, connecting huh? with those music communities and being yeah. able to communicate with fans and the artists yeah. themselves and put them together. That's true. And Facebook and Twitter. Like, I keep I keep in touch with you guys. That's on why Facebook. you're here, because you Facebook. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm coming to town. You guys, well, come on on. Okay. Uh, I think I may have insisted or something. Yeah, yeah. I think I may have been threats. We may have lost a, a bet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but I I uh, like Twitter has been a kind of an amazing trip too. Like I just. I pull my at pull my ears, which is like you know easy to remember, and uh, and I get all these people following from all over the place, and we oh, have these conversations, great. and it's weird. It's like it's like there's this other world. It's the fourth yeah. wall. Well, and you become really the hub of these conversations. Hopefully, for you, yeah. which is a bit of a trip as well. Well, yeah. well always so nice to see you. Yeah. And your book is going into its second printing. When it's will a, it's it be a, available? Well, it's it's available now. I think uh, Chapters has two signed copies over here on Robson. But and oh, also uh, the e version is just coming uh, out yeah, as well. Yeah, Kindle and iPad, and uh, you know I hope. I hope there's no trouble downloading it because I always have trouble myself. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, oh, so Paul. it's available in all these formats, and I got some stuff coming out in the new year, and it's nice. good stuff. Well, anytime you're in town, really if you, you have trouble downloading yours. it, uh, just tweet Paul at yeah, Paul Myers. Yeah, I forgot how indirectly. entertaining it is to sit and talk ah. to you. You cannot sit yeah. still. Good it to see is you guys. Hilarious. No, it's hilarious. Like, <laughs> I know.